warm hearts and cold, well, everything else. <laughs> Around 2,000 people freezing for a reason Saturday at the Special Olympics Oregon Polar Plunge. I think we're ready. This group of first timers dressed as Pac-Man taking home the prize of best group costume. We just wanted to support a great cause and we really wanted to support Special Olympics Oregon and we think it's a great reason and have some fun and why not? And if you think they're nuts for that single dip in the Columbia River, listen to this. This year's plunge featured a group of super plunge heroes. These brave and slightly crazy plungers jumped into the icy water once every hour for 24 hours, raising thousands of dollars. The Polar Plunge is a partnership with local law enforcement, keeping everyone safe in the water. Sergeant Stephen Dangle has been helping out for over a decade on the front lines to ease any last minute second thoughts. You try to convince them that even though it's 39 degrees, it's not so bad. But then you see the expressions on their faces uh, as they're exiting and it's just, it's just wonderful to see. This year's event made a big splash. They hit their fundraising goal of $275,000 in Portland benefiting more than 12,000 athletes statewide. We are so grateful for everybody that supports our organization. And that support is more important than ever. Special Olympics Oregon is bouncing back from a financial crisis. About a year and a half ago, the nonprofit was too broke to stage competitions. We were hamstrung with debt. And so the hardest part was just having to stop mission delivery for a while and stop spending and get our financial house in order. And that's, that's devastating. It was so hard for so many athletes who really depend on this program. CEO Britt Owis says they're a year or two away from state games, but they have been able to bring back regional competitions and training. When we had to hit pause, people were devastated and loud and angry and upset and at the same time quickly transition to okay how do we figure this out and how do we get back still a lot of work to do but always says they're on the rebound and help from the community is making that possible we know our athletes and volunteers are going to come out and support but to have thousands of people who make a point of doing this for special olympics is incredible we're so grateful along the columbia river in portland Brittany folkers kgw news